Now, I know you're a Game of Thrones fan, so I'm yes. curious about like how people react to you now, only because I think of like Bryce as a little bit of like a King Joffrey or perhaps like a Ramsey Snow. And you know, like those <laughs> actors, they always say how everybody like kind of like stands, like is like a little like standoffish or like, or want, you know, get, yeah. or get like super aggressive with them. And I'm curious about, because the show has really taken off, like how fans have reacted to you in particular. I don't go out a lot in public, <laughs> so that helps. So I recommend that too. <laughs> Just become a hermit. Uh, yeah. Is <laughs> life advice. That's, from Justin you heard it here, yeah. Um, I mean, you know, there's like the social media response. Right, and now there's the, that factor too. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of those that come through. A lot of uh, hate mail, but but at the same time, then there's also the fan base who argues my case, and they're like, he's just an actor, go away. And so right. that's so thank you to you guys. I mean, that's amazing. You were pretty candid recently about your own experiences with bullying. So what prompted you to go into that? And, um, you know, what do you think of when you think of people like Bryce who are in your life? Um, you know, I, I think, well, obviously it's, it's one of the pro problems nowadays is, is that you have, especially with jocks and athletes, cause they're kind of, they're above the line, you know, they, they're, they're untouchable because they make a lot of money for the school or, or blah, blah, blah. So, um, so I think it's important that one, you know, we just, we open a dialogue about it and start conversations and not, mm -hmm. and not keep sweeping it under the rug. Sure. Um, I mean, in terms of my own life, I had a little thing, I grew, I'm from Tennessee, so you just you play sports as a kid. That's kind of what you do. And um, and there there were some cases of bullying, but it was a different type of bullying. You know, it's it's guys coming up and you know calling you names or some shoving or whatever. And my parents were like, just you know, tell them to back off or you'll knock their teeth in. And so that's <laughs> what I did, and it worked. And then they stopped messing with me. But you or know. get really famous and get oh. on a left Netflix show and call them out. On yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're really and sweet name them out. by name, yeah. and spell it out, and be like, "What now?" I won't do that. I won't do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a different form of bullying. So yeah. what we see in the show is <clears throat> sometimes it can be irreparable in a sense. You know, with with the whole yeah. new social media craze, a lot of this stuff once it's out there, it's out there. So one, we hope to start the conversation to to prevent these things from happening in the first mm -hmm. place. Because um, it is different, and we hope that parents are watching with their kids and they understand that bullying has changed. You can't yeah. just go up to someone and say, hey, stop. You know, Even if they do stop, what's been done is already out there potentially to a lot of people. Sure. Um, so that's one of the things we're excited about this show as well, right. is kind of showcasing how it's changed and hopefully how to deal with it and, and start parents talking with their kids and kids talking with their friends about how to kind of overcome these circumstances. Mm -hmm.